Let me show you how to easily deploy and scale an OpenShift platform as a service on, in the cloud using Common IT. So the first thing I do is log in my Common IT account. It's a, it's a fresh new account, so I need to add my platform. Click the Add button um, and add a, my Amazon EC2 credentials. So you pick Amazon from the driver list, you pass your access key, secret key, and you should be all set. Then I go in the distribution section and go into the marketplace to get a Fedora 18. You have to make sure it's the AMI that you get. We will need it for this uh, recipe. And you see I don't have any applications in my commodity environment. Uh, no worries, it will come later. So now in the shell, you have to make sure you've installed the latest version of the commodity uh, client tool. If not, check out our tutorial. And then I can uh, make a Git clone of the OpenShift orchestration scripts, which are in our demos repository. Um, and there I make a copy of the configuration sample file and I edit this file to put my own settings. So putting my um, username, changing my password and organization name, and maybe fine tuning some Amazon settings. Uh, make sure you are using at least medium sized instance. Um, you should have a OpenShift security group with the correct ports open. Maybe you also want to configure your uh, keys. Then you launch the setup command. Uh, this will create all the required applications uh, inside Common IT. So you see all my OpenShift applications are automatically imported and a OpenShift environment has been created for me. Now I can ask Common IT to deploy the broker. So Common IT will uh, create an Amazon instance and then bootstrap into the Common IT configuration management and install all the required package and configuration files and services uh, required by the uh, OpenShift broker. So it takes about 10 minutes for on a medium instance. Once my broker is up, uh, I can add a first node to my cluster. So I just run the add node command. So again, it creates a required resource on Amazon, wait for them to be ready. And if I look in my Connect dashboard, I can see the broker is up and the node is currently uh, being provisioned. So since it takes a while, I can also uh, show you a bit how it's happening uh, in the code. So if you look in the uh, Connect orchestration script, here it is. Well, you see that we open a, a client uh, to the Common IT API. Uh, from there, we can uh, verify that the broker is already up. And on the broker, we go get the content of uh, a public key, which we have to configure it on different nodes. So we store it in a variable for later use. Then I create my node host uh, using the Common IT API. I launch the provisioning of that machine. I wait for it to be uh, ready. When the machine is up and ready, it means I can go in the machine and get its network configuration. I will need that because I need to go back on the broker and in the DNS server that we have on the broker, I need to add an entry for the new node. And that's exactly happening here. Uh, from that point in time, the network is correctly set up between the node and the broker and I can install the different components like mCollective um, and then the OpenShift node uh, specifically. And you see one of the settings is the public key of the broker and that's where uh, I insert my public key value that I fetched earlier on. So this gives you a feeling of what a community orchestration script looks like. This is using our Python uh, API. Well, again, take a bit of time for the node to be ready. Um, if we go back to common IT, we see that now that the node is deployed, the uh, DNS server configuration has indeed been updated. We have an entry for the node there. So all that has happened, all these dependencies have been managed by uh, the community orchestration script. Um, so finally, we also provide a convenience method to deploy an OpenShift client with all the required OpenShift client tools and correctly set up um, in the OpenShift cluster. Much easier to do some testing so you don't have to install it locally. So I can go on the client machine and there I need to export this Libra server variable uh, to give the host name of my broker and then I can run the rhc setup command and configure my uh, OpenShift account. So the default account is username OpenShift and password secret and you can easily change that in the recipe. 
So here I upload my SSH keys and I create my first domain called demo. So it took me a bit more than uh, 20 minutes to actually deploy this whole OpenShift cluster and I'm I'm ready to create my first application. Let's create a PHP application for example. So OpenShift uh, will take care of uh, updating DNS configurations so that my application is uh, reachable from the outside. Um, it will prepare the repository using Git and it will clone that one uh, on the local system. So I'm all set. got my first OpenShift uh, application created and deployed. So now if I want to tear down my uh, cluster, I just run the tear down command so it will uh, remove all the machine configured by common IT and remove the instances. Then finally I can run the cleanup command which uh, deletes all uh, environments, uh, OpenShift applications, etc. So it really uh, just like we've never been there. So that's it. A uh, quick overview on how we can easily deploy uh, OpenShift on Amazon. But we've also tested it on Eucalyptus and Rackspace. Works great. Uh, watch our other screencast on commonit.com. Thank you for your time.